I'm Mark Hamilton, and today I'll be sharing our work on axiomatic explanations for visual search, retrieval, and similarity learning. Many of today's modern systems don't fall into the standard categories of classification and regression. Instead, systems like contrastive learning, product recommendation, and image retrieval focus on learning distances between pieces of data to perform tasks and solve problems. In this work, we focus on these systems that compare pairs of images using a similarity function. Our aim is to understand what motivates their behavior, and furthermore, to understand how they work even when we don't have access to the underlying code or implementation. To solve this problem, we turn to the Shapley value of cooperative game theory and economics. In this context, Imagine we have a collection of employees that work in a company and cooperate to earn the company a profit. Some employees work hard, some employees work smart, and some employees don't do much of anything. The Shapley value is the only fair way to pay employees based on their relative contributions to the bottom line. In the context of machine learning, the Shapley value provides a unique and axiomatically fair way to decompose the behavior of a model into a series of importances over the individual features that went into that prediction. Our work shows that with a slight modification of the image similarity function, we can directly apply Shapley value theory to create an axiomatically grounded search engine explanation method. This approach allows us to extract heat maps so we can understand where a network is looking during a similarity judgment. Though these heat maps provide a high-level overview of a model's rationale, there's more to the story. An image can be similar to another for any number of reasons and share multiple objects in common. We show that by generalizing the Shapley value, we can extract a full pairwise correspondence between query and retrieved images. We can formalize this notion using the Shapley-Taylor index of cooperative game theory. This generalization of the Shapley value provides a payment not just to employees, but also to every team or coalition of employees. In the context of visual search, this provides a coupling strength between pixels of query and retrieved images. Analyzing search engine interpretability through the lens of fair credit assignment gives us deeper insight into popular methods such as CAM, GradCAM, and LIME. Our analysis allows us to determine exactly when these approaches align with the theoretically optimal Shapley value, and to our knowledge, some of these connections are new to the literature and allow us to find issues with existing methods such as GradCam, where this method violates key axioms of fair credit assignment. Additionally, we found that methods like CAM and GradCam were missing key terms that allow one to perform relative and counterfactual explanations. Here. In this example, a query and a best result are matched, and the standard explanation that CAM and GradCAM gives highlights the guitar as the most salient reason. With these new terms, we can instead explain relative to a second best result, and one can see that this explanation highlights instead the tie-breaking elements, namely the shared person between the two queries. Just as Shapley values could be lifted to a higher order generalization, we found that many different model interpretability methods could be lifted to a second order interpretation methods. This investigation yielded new ways to approximate Shapley Taylor indices using a kernel weighted quadratic regression that requires 10 times fewer function evaluations than the prior art. To evaluate our approach, we measure how blurring salient regions affects image similarity. Large changes in similarity means that our methods correctly found important areas for the similarity judgment. We can generalize this experimental approach to second-order methods by measuring how well standard objects are connected across differing pairs of images. We find that game-theoretically grounded methods are more faithful to the underlying model, do not violate the axioms of fair credit assignment, and perform better at semantic segmentation label propagation tasks. Thank you very much for watching, and please check out our website and paper for more details.